Hello there. Today I am going to show you how to use Tasker, and the Auto Voice plugin, to control your ringer volume automatically, depending on the noise level around you, it will turn the ringer volume up in noisy situations, and will lower it down in quiet environments. You will need Auto Voice installed for this to work, I will leave the link in the description for you, try the free version first. So let's get started, open Tasker, and click on the home button to create a new project, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, this project is only one profile and one task, but I like to keep things organized in its own tab. Give this project a name, I will call it dynamic ring volume, you can call it whatever you like. Click the OK check mark when you're done. Click the plus sign to create the profile. Give it a name, I will call it, Dynamic Ringer. Click the OK check mark when you're done. Select Event, then click on Phone, and finally select Phone Ringing. Leave the caller field blank, this means if the phone is ringing from any caller, click the back arrow when you are done. Select New Task, give it a name. Again, I will call it, Dynamic Ringer. Click the OK check mark when you're done. Click on the plus sign to create the first task, select Audio, then select, Ringer Volume. Set the volume to 1, I will explain why in a bit. Click the back arrow. Click on the plus sign, then on Alert, and lastly on Flash. In the text area, enter, listening for ambient noise. We will be using the auto voice plug in the next step. To figure out how noisy or quiet the area around you. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign, click on plug in. Then select auto voice. And from the drop down menu select current noise. The only thing you need to do, is increase the timeout to about 15 seconds, if you click the edit icon, you'll find none to configure, so just click the back arrow. Click the plus sign, click on variable, then on variable set. Give this variable a name, I called it, dynamic underscore ring. Click the search tag icon, in the to field to search for an auto voice variable, called current noise level and click on it, this is the variable that has the noise level value around you. Make sure to check the do math box. And we are going to change the variable into a math equation. Add an open parenthesis at the very beginning, add a division slash at the end, followed by the number 15, then a closed parenthesis, then a plus sign followed by the number 10, make sure that there is no empty spaces. This will be the ringer volume, if you are in a noisy place the ringer volume will be set higher, and will be lower, if you are in a quiet area. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign, click on variables, then select variable split. Click the tag search icon and look for the variable, dynamic ring, and click on it. In the splitter area, enter the plus sign as a splitter, then click the back arrow when you are done. We are almost done, two more steps to go, click the plus sign, click on alert, then on flash. In the text area enter, noise level, and search for the variable, AV noise level. And click on it, on the next line, enter. Setting ringer volume, and click the back arrow when you are done.
Click on the plus sign, click on audio, then click on ringer volume. Click on those wiggly lines on the level field to enter a variable, instead of the slider. Click the search tag icon, and find the variable dynamic underscore ring and click on it, and add the number 1 to it. Remember that we did a variable split earlier, this is the part that we need, this is the new ring volume according to the ambient noise level. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign for the last step, and select alert, then flash. Search for the variable, dynamic underscore ring 1 and click on it. This will tell you the ringer volume level. So let's see how it works. The ringer volume will always start very low, and the instant you receive a call, it will test the noise level around you and set the ringer volume level accordingly. Now, I am going to turn the TV up and test it again, and you will notice the ringer volume changes. And also, I will change the abort existing task, by clicking on the setting icon in the bottom right, because I only want new tasks to run every time the phone rings. If you want to tweak this project, you can change the 10 in action for, higher or lower, if you want to increase the ringer volume up or down. Go ahead and test it, have fun with it, and do not forget to boost to your friends with iPhones that your Android can do more than theirs.